Hello and welcome to Retronics. Now I'm going to be going over some very basic, uh, I'm going to do a very basic introduction of a fission mixer and the buttons involved. I'm going to be basing it around the ATM television studio from Blackmagic and first of all I want to show you a picture of a bigger mixer. So this has got a physical panel, this is a Snell Kahuna and it's one of the top of the range mixers and it's the one that's doing a lot of 4K in the UK at the minute. Um, now, first thing to note here is don't be intimidated and we're going to look into the similarities to what we have here in front of us now. So, here we've got the program row. I hope you can see my arrow there going across where that red light is towards the top left and where it says program. Now, that is what is two air at the minute. So, this is what we are capturing. So, I can cut between two sources here and there's the camera, hi, and back to the panel again. So here, this is what is going to wear. So that is program. We've also got some test signals in there as well, as well as that graphic that I cut to. So that was down in the bottom right here with his MP label. Now, this double row thing is quite unusual. You won't see that on a hardware panel. That is, I've never seen that anywhere else. This is just seems to be limited to this software panel just to get that extra real estate. Normally you will see a row of buttons that is the program and then just below it you will see the preview rows. Now in here they're actually quite a bit below it but if you look back to that picture that I had up a minute ago you can see there underneath the characters 1, 2, 3, 4 those two rows are the program and the preset row. And back to here. So what we can do with that is We've already said this is going to air or going to program this row here. We also have a, a preview row. Now if you have a look at my multi-viewer briefly, you can see here if I cut the preview, you can see the top left signal changing. I have to get the right mode, so I'll go through that in a little while, but you can see the preview row there. Now that's based around having something that you could mix to. So if we've got two sources now that we could mix to, so if I pre-select my camera, which you can see in the top right, sorry, the top left there, and then if we mix to it from that shot there, you can see that it slowly dissolves, and that was with a manual T-bar move, moving. So if I, if I just um, fake this for a minute, if I mix from the same thing to the same thing, you can see that was what I was doing with the T-bar. Now if I just go back to this picture again, you can see a T-bar there, about two-thirds over to the right. So that, that's the same thing. Now let's just cut back to the panel again. So you saw before I got in a bit of a mix because the preview row wasn't doing what I expected. Now this, this here is, a, is the preview bus. But there's a, there's a few more things you can do with a preview, and that is you can preview some graphic sources or a composite. So these lights here say what the T-bar will do next or the auto trans button. So here it's set to background. Now that means that it will come to this row here. So this background key relates to the preview row. Now, if I were to select key 1, then the preview would actually preview both of these things as though they were taken together. So, we can have a combination here, and also if I activate the T-bar, it will go to those things at once, and the, the graphic is actually keyed over whatever the background source is. So, that is the camera shot of me, and if I go together, you can see that you won't see that because the graphic of the mixer is keyed over the top. If I release the key, then you will see that camera to me again. Hello. Okay, so as well as using the T-bar there, um, obviously I'm just using the mouse, but if I had a real T-bar that would ha work exactly the same way. I can also do an auto trans. So this will do a pre-set transition time, very smooth. And I can just show you for for now, I can just type 5 and that will be a lot quicker. So that's in frames, that number there. So we're working in a 
50i system, which is basically around 25 frames, so there it, it, it rounds up for me. If I type 25, it makes it a second, and then you can see that that's slower again. So as well as using the auto trans button to come to the preview row when the background is selected, I can also cut that. And there you go, that's, that's it cutting. Now, if I take both those together and the graphic was keyed, so there was a, um, an alpha channel supplied with that graphic and you'd be able to see through it, um, there'll be another video on keying coming very shortly, so please stay tuned for that then you would see the background keyed over in the preview and that would be a composite preview so you would see both those things together which is very useful if you're composing a graphic over a shot or something with a chroma key etc. Now what I've described to you now is the very basics of a vision mixer and I hope that um, you get to use that in the wild. Um, feel free to um, ask me any more questions or maybe I've skipped something there will be a video on keying coming very shortly and yeah, please stay tuned for that. So give us a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more and drop me a line and ask any questions about what you might want to see next. Okay, thanks a lot.